We're back! You're like very like autumn, winter, and I'm very summer still. Oh, mm. Short sleeves. Mm, the colours. Anyways, hey friends, welcome back to our channel. Yeah, welcome back to another edition of me being presented with a really thought-provoking question. And then taking about two hours to think of an answer. And then you get fed, so yeah. let's jump into it. Okay, if you could wake up tomorrow having gained one quality or ability, what would it be? Oh. While Paul thinks we would love if you took the time oh. to subscribe to this channel. It's been growing slowly but surely and we've got some exciting videos coming. Or perhaps you've already seen them because who knows when this video will go out. Have you had time to answer? Yeah. Okay, go uh, on. The ability to just get in my car and go wherever I want without having to pull up maps and stress about it for weeks. I mean, that's in your control right now. You could do that. Yeah, but it's still an ability, isn't it? Mm. It's an ability I haven't got at the moment. Mm. I think for me it would be like the... <laughs> I lost focus just as I was going to say, fine focus, but it would be um, having the ability to like stay really focused on tasks that maybe I'm not finding that interesting or complete a task because mm. I got a few projects on the go. <laughs> Ready to do the next I, one? I'd like to... Like, like, is not the same, but mm. kind of similar. Mm. I'd love to be able to learn another language mm. and learn another occupation, really. Like, I want to be able to learn... So those are the qualities and the abilities that you're looking tons for? Tons of stuff, yeah. Okay. I'd love to be able to... You know, some people are just naturally... You point them in the right direction and they excel at everything they do. I'm not one of them, but... Please, someone's full poll in the comments because I don't think that anybody, unless you're a prodigy, I don't think anybody just wakes uh, There are certain up. people that can and, turn, around, turn around to anything. But I, I think it still takes effort and I think that if you want that, you have to be the type of person that is going to put in the work to well, go get it. Well, this is the thing. Like Any job that I've ever been given, if I can't do it, I work at it and work at it and work at it and work at it until I can. So, but some people, what like I'm saying is some people will just go in there and within a, within a week, they know how to do it. I don't know if you want this conversation on camera, but like, I think that that's not true. All right, <laughs> I think enough. that you give, on. you give up so easy. Like I'll say, okay, Paul, you've got this campaign with Burton, Burton's men's wear and you've got to like put up a story and you're like, ah, I don't know how to do it. Ah, ah, ah. And it's like, you've been given that task. But you give up before you actually achieve something. Yeah, get her in the end, they do, not I? Because I do it. Not always. Moving on. Okay, next question. If a crystal ball could tell you the truth about yourself, your life, the future, or anything else, what would you want to know? Nothing. I want to know when the heck are we going to have this baby? I wouldn't even want to know that. Uh, I would. I wouldn't want to know that. Because... Honestly, I, think, like, I don't think... We're supposed to know, so I don't want to know. I don't want to know when I'm going to die. I don't want to know... I don't want to know anything. Just let it be a surprise. I'm okay with, like, not knowing anything I'm else. I'm a stressy person, aren't I? I'm okay with not knowing anything else, but I would like to know... I'm a planner. That's a difference. Is that, like, I plan out everything. And so I would like to know when we're going to get pregnant. This month. Mm -hmm. I would like to know when it would happen so that I could be like, ooh, we can plan to go back home to Canada then, and we could come da 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 and da 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 well, I think we kind of do that every month anyway, don't we? Yeah. How's, yeah. That, how's that going for us? Yeah. <laughs> but... <laughs> Anything else? Oh, shut up. <laughs> no. No, I'm not telling you to shut up, but it's just... Yeah. I feel like that's the one thing. I think because... I feel like we're getting closer, though. Yeah, I feel, I feel like, like we keep cracking things, don't we? We're like, mm. ah! <laughs> the Vinci freaking yeah. code. But I do feel like, I think the reason why I can't let it go, or I'm trying to let it go maybe a little bit, or why I would like to answer this question in the aspect, it would be the one thing that I want to know. It's just because kids are so costly. And so when you think like you're potentially going to shake up your entire life, it would be nice to plan. You know, I, I didn't want a wedding. I didn't want a big wedding because I didn't want to plan that. Yeah. I don't like planning like, you know, I can go with the flow with some things, but this is one thing I would like to have some mm. notice on. Right. Is there something that you have dreamt about doing for a long time? Why haven't you done it yet? Money. Most of the time. Yeah, that's true. 
Um, well, I really want to go to New York. And just money, time, there's other things more important. Mm. Um, I think really... I'm gonna... Like, I don't have massive dreams and aspirations to like, really. <laughs> You're really selling the so people like... on you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but again, I'm gonna like, wreck that. Because like, the money that you could spend on going to New York, you could have had like half of your ticket with just some of the things we've spoken about today with what you've bought. Yeah. Because going to New York isn't that expensive no. from England. No. Right? So I think that you could, you could do it. Trouble is as well, we don't like doing things on that much of a budget, do we? Like we it's alright buying a ticket to go to New York, but then if you're going to go yeah. there and be like sort of tight fisted when you're there, you want to go there and just not worry about anything, don't you? And I think that's where I worry about it. You're not, you're pretty good at, with, with stuff like that. Yeah, because I, I think, for me, I don't let the emotion catch me up. Whereas, mm. like, when we go somewhere, you're like, oh, I'll pay for everyone, or I'll get this. Yeah, and then it's like, get home, and I'm like, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, for me, I feel like um, learning another language, because I did start off going oh, yeah. to school by going to, like, French school, and then didn't keep up with that. So I, I kept on saying, like, when we have kids, let's put them in this, like, Italian or French or whatever. You're and doing you're doing really good with the Italian though, I've gotta say. I have see. I did hear you last night. <laughs> and yeah, I think that there came a moment where I was like, actually why why am I waiting for for a kid to start that? So yeah, I started learning Italian and this is the difference between me and you. I will. You will what? Learn it. But see but I think that you don't go to do it because that's not your dream. Whereas like I, I feel like I, for me the I, okay, I don't like the feeling of being uncomfortable and the feeling of me not chasing whatever it is that I want yeah. makes me more uncomfortable, whereas you're more comfortable sitting in that complacency. Yeah, yeah I agree with that. I do want to learn it though. Okay, we'll see. Hold him accountable. Grazie. You're that was a good like accent, you. wasn't it, on that then? <laughs> Anyways, are you ready to go eat? Yeah. Italian? No. Oh. Let's go. <laughs>